Hey everybody, welcome to Northwoods Engineered. Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I built a retractable awning for my cargo trailer camper conversion. I'm going to be showing you how I built it, the steps I went through to make it and put it on, and then I'll show you how it comes out and goes back in, folds up along the trailer. Uh, also, if you enjoy my content, please uh, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Also, the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching. The main structure of the awning is made all out of EMT conduit, uh, three quarter inch, and then there's also some half inch inside for telescoping. Uh, a lot of the parts I bought on Amazon, but all of the connector pieces are from a company called Maker Pipe. Uh, I've been making stuff out of conduit for a long time. I think a lot of people do because it's cheap. And a few years ago, I found uh, this company and they make specialized connectors for uh, EMT. So if, you, if you're building anything on EMT, uh, make sure to check them out. Um, also, all of the items that I ordered off Amazon, there's links for those in the description, so check those out as well. Uh, there is one spot that I still welded, and that's on this part here where I welded a, a one inch piece onto a three quarter inch piece in order to create sort of an, an axle spot there. So we'll start there. So I've got uh, the one inch pieces of EMT, and I'm going to be welding them right on the top of the three quarter inch piece. I just ground out a little radius on the top there and it sits like that. Now my friend Andrew's shop again. Nice enough to let me use his welding area. There's my friend Dan over there. Hey Dan. Hi. Here we go. So I've used these uh, these maker pipe uh, connector pieces and some other projects I've used, but never really showed how closely uh, or showed close up how they go together. So they come with these Allen head uh, bolts, and then they've got these nuts that have a little extension on them, and then there's a pocket on the edge here or on the side of the connector pieces, and it sits in there, and then it also is stamped in a square so it holds the nut when you tighten it. So some of these ones get the bolt started and then you can add it to the end and then tighten it up. So these are all the pieces I need for one other side or one side of the awning. So I'm looking at the other one that I already have made. Um, the one thing I'm changing or that, that I added on my own is this part here. These pieces come together to go here to make a pivoting connection point uh, with a bolt. But I'm going to replace the bolt with an M6 knob that I just bought on my own. Throw some lock washers on there. Keep it tight. So that's the one end. This is the piece that has the, the welded on uh, T, the one inch T. And the other end. Just through here like that. And then the other end goes through this piece here, and that's three quarter inch. And then we'll take this, which is a telescoping connector, goes from three quarter to half inch. This piece goes on here. Screw the holds it on the three quarter inch side. I'm gonna loosen that up. Loosen that. Let's stick a piece of half inch in there. Tighten up the knob, holds the half inch. Tighten up the screw for the three quarter. And 
and then there's a these reducer pieces like they're like pvc plastic of some sort goes around the half inch and then you use the same ends they use on the three quarter inch emt there aren't there are not separate half inch ends at least not as of right now here i've got the bottom brackets mounted uh, they go right through the bottom edge here and this does not go into the trailer these holes it's it's like a angle iron or angled aluminum piece inside there so it should be plenty strong and then uh, no leak paths for these brackets and then i'll be using the outermost holes uh, these are just brackets i bought off the shelf at fleet farm just drilled the uh, holes for the upper brackets so the ones on the outside will once again just be this off the shelf bracket that i I just cut to make it a little bit shorter. So those will go out here. And then the inside one is a little bit shorter. And that's so that I can fit this one underneath it. And then I'll mount the a piece of EMT going all the way across to the other side. And that will hold the awning to the camper. And then on the inside, those bolts that I mount to the top, they come into this cove area. So right down there so I'll, I'll probably end up adding a little bit of sealant to those bolts just to stop any leaks so i've got the first side of the awning mounted to the uh, cargo trailer kind of as a test to test out the function because i hadn't really i wasn't sure if it was going to work or not so what you do is there's two knobs down here uh, you loosen the inside one in order to get it to come out and then the awning will be coming out from the top as you do that and then this slides like this Put that on there and then you can tighten that at the top and then you loosen this knob at the bottom and it telescopes out and so you can raise it up at whatever angle you want and then you tighten that and then you do that on both sides and then you're it'll be set up so it looks like it's going to function pretty well all right i've got both sides bolted on and i just put the the cross piece in temporarily I haven't fastened it down at all It's coming together. I'm to the part of getting the actual canopy ready. So I ordered uh, just a piece of canvas that had been waterproofed. It's uh, 10 feet uh, wide and 12 feet long. And I got it 12 feet long just to have a lot of extra to work with. Uh, I do have to make it a little less than 10 feet wide. So I'm measuring it out now and I'll end up cutting along this edge and uh, then sewing that. And uh, then I'm gonna sew some like pockets on the end to go around the EMT and then another one to zip it all up together. So I've got the awning cover all sewn up and finished to the point where I'm about to install it. Um, I've put it on and off the trailer a couple times just testing things out. But I have a zipper on the top here that will go around the awning when it's rolled up to, to cover it up and to keep it secure on the top. And then there's a pocket here for a piece of conduit on the top to attach it to the trailer. And then there's a pocket on the other end that will attach to the, the part that's away from the trailer that, that rolls up. So the top piece of conduit that's gonna hold the fabric to the trailer has the 
inserts in the end of each piece that come from maker pipe as well. So those are three eighths inserts pounded into the end. And then this piece slides into this pocket right here. And then that'll get mounted to the two black brackets that I have on top of the trailer. In addition to the two brackets on each end of this piece of conduit, I do have this uh, spring clip here to hold the center of the conduit. Uh, it helps when assembling it and then just gives it a little more strength in the center. So that's just like a, a broom holder, um, a few different variations of those around. Here's the bolt holding the conduit piece to the black bracket. And it's, it's actually pretty crazy how tight you can get these with those little inserts into the conduit. You can really torque them pretty good without spinning that insert. Had a little Loctite on there as well. As I showed earlier, uh, this piece of conduit slides into a pocket on the end and then it rolls up. And I added rivets through the canvas into the piece of conduit so that when you twist it, it, it stays uh, intact and will roll up properly. On the end, I created a little handle to roll up the, the canvas. It's not the prettiest. Uh, I was thinking about buying some, some handle, but in the sake of just saving some money, uh, I just put a piece of cut conduit, smash it down and bolted it into one of those uh, nut certs from Maker Pipe. Um, I also put some uh, epoxy, some JB Weld in there just to hold it and then a bolt through. So it just cranks like that. And then there's a hole through the um, one inch piece and holes in the three quarter inch piece for pinning it. All right, so I've got the awning complete now and I'm gonna show you guys how I can fold it out. I'm gonna do it by myself. Uh, it's doable with one person, it just takes a little longer because you gotta run back and forth few times but if you had two people it'd be it'd be a lot quicker but uh, I got to use a step ladder which we always carry just to get in and out of the trailer um, just to reach the the top here And then you loosen these knobs here. Move these up to the top. Tighten that knob. And because of the way it unfolds, I had to make the, the fabric longer than it would be, or that, that it's going to be when it's, when it's fully tight. So then at this point, roll it up tight like that. Put a pin through here to hold it. Then you loosen the telescoping spots. And you can adjust one side lower than the other. If it's raining, if you want water to run off one side. And that's it. Door opens up, clears the door easily. Doesn't take too long, even by yourself. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how it goes back in. So I first loosen the telescoping connections. Comes down. Take the pin out, that holds the awning tight. Loosen the pivoting connections.
and crank it up. Nice thing about it is you don't have to take anything off when you're done. It's all self-contained. I'll probably put a couple of Velcro straps around the poles just for safety. Um, but yeah, you don't have to put anything on when you when you put it up. It's all self-contained, nice and streamlined alongside the trailer. Well, we couldn't have timed it any better. It's just starting to rain. First test keeps you dry.